we could sit and argue about what's the best diet, what's the best like workout methodology to do. And, you know, none of that changes if people aren't being who they truly want to be, you know, if they're not living the life they want. And I love how, you know, you, you make it like be the hero of your own journey, be the hero of your own movie. Do you think that's the, the first step for somebody listening who wants to transform, who wants to become who they are, like the person, the let their alter ego out? the average Joe and Jane to let, you know, to actually just write out what they want from life and start to become the hero of their own story. Yeah. I mean, I realize it's kind of a bit egotistical. Like I'm the main character on this planet. And like mm. the reality is like, we're all a character in this multiplayer game of life. So uh, I think, you know, maybe identifying and thinking of it through that lens, like we all love the, the training montage of like Rocky training in the Russian, you know, in the mountains mm. of Russia to fight Ivan Drago and like we see that montage in two minutes and there's like a cool song playing, but like that's months of miserable training. Like to make a montage, you have to do a lot of work. So identifying or acknowledging that like, hey, I'm currently doing the drudgery that will be the montage aspect of my story looking back a few years from now, I think can be helpful. And then, yeah, identifying or, or, you know, really leaning into that idea of this hero's journey and you being the hero on a journey um, kind of helps you paint the obstacles in your way a little differently. And the plot twists and the rejections and the challenges are, you know, we all know, we all have the story of like, oh, this thing went, this thing happened in my life and it was bad. But looking back 10 years later, that was one of the best things to happen to me. Like, I'm so thankful I lost that job or I'm so thankful I got cut from the basketball team or I'm so thankful I got cheated on. Um, it turns out mm-hmm. those were the moments that looking back 10 years later, like I'm so those are the that was the impetus or that was the turning point for me to start making changes or that I hit rock bottom. Like those are the best superhero stories. Those are the best heroes journeys to follow. So I think for each person, it's identifying or acknowledging that like, hey, if I am a character in this game or I am a character in this story, what do I want the character's journey to look like? What do I want, you know, when when this character returns home from this hero's journey, what is life like for them at that point? And get very specific. What is it, you know, what does a day look like from a work perspective, from a, you know, time after work with loved ones, um, hobbies, uh, where do you live? Where is your next trip going to be? Like getting specific with all of those things kind of takes it from this nebulous daydream to like a very concrete um, existence and a very concrete thing that you can then start to backtrack on and say like, or not backtrack, but like start to put steps in between where you are currently, your current version of your character and this leveled up life version of you down the road you can start to say like, all right, well, if my job is going to be this and it's going to be in this part of the country, like I sh- maybe I should start looking at jobs in a different field or I should, you know, go visit that place and put it on the calendar. And even if you don't have the money yet, setting aside five bucks a month into a travel fund that is labeled, uh, you know, I want to go to San Diego or I want to go to Paris, France, or I want to go to, um, you know, Thailand, whatever it may be identifying some specific thing and then taking one small action like that day, whether it's calling somebody who has been there or putting five bucks aside in a savings account or, you know, five pounds or whatever it may be and saying like, I'm living differently now. There's that other great quote by Bertrand Russell. It's like, you're under no obligation to who, to be who you were five minutes ago. Like Hmm. life can be different. After listening to this podcast, you can decide that you're going to do something differently and life will be different. And it just requires you to start acting differently. And that one action can be small. Nobody needs to know about it, but you will know that the old you wouldn't have done it. And this new version of you is doing things differently. And we all know in order to get different results, you're going to have to start taking different actions. 